Right now, an early and special commencement ceremony this morning shows us a special bond between a new UW grad and a lifelong mentor. Also, UW-Madison Chancellor speaks for the first time after reaching an agreement with campus protesters on Friday. Hear what she had to say. And we're also following a group of women biking across the country for a good cause. Find out what it is. That's all coming up on News 3 Now at 10. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jalen Banks. Chancellor Manukin speaks to UW Madison's commencement ceremony earlier today. This comes after two weeks of Library Mall being home to students and protesters in an encampment, protesting against the Israel Hamas war and asking for the university to divest from companies connected to Israel. The chancellor did not speak directly about the campus protests, but she did speak on the war. For many in our campus community, there is also pain and grief over the devastating destruction, injustice, and loss of life in Gaza and in Israel. And some of you have had to navigate this final year of your degree amid anguishing worry about friends and relatives. Please know that you're not alone in this difficult, very difficult time. Today at the commencement, there was a small group of protesters who eventually left the ceremony on their own. As for the encampment, it was taken down Friday after an agreement was reached between the university and protesters. Today, the University of Wisconsin, as we all know, celebrates the class of 2024. Now, before the commencement started, grads and their families hit the UW Fieldhouse for a pre-commencement celebration, enjoying the last moments of college before entering the real world. I am feeling really excited to start my life after college, but I'm also a little sad to be leaving UW-Madison. Um, change is hard, so it's, it's a big change to leave college, but I'm excited for what's to come. The event went from 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. And as thousands of UW grads gathered at Camp Randall's to celebrate the start of life after college, a select few got to celebrate a different commencement beforehand, the start of their military service. Our Brandon Ross was at the Monona Terrace this morning as 10 UW grads received their commissions as officers in the Navy and Marine Corps. Here's a look at their first salutes. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for Ensign Torian, United States Navy. It was a moment years in the making. This is the moment that I, you know, revel in. Saturday, Ben Torian graduated with a bachelor's degree from UW-Madison. But before he could toss his cap at Camp Randall, there was another milestone he had to pass. I've always wanted to serve and protect people. And uh, I thought that the best possible way to do that was join the military. On the shores of Lake Monona, Toreen officially became a Navy officer. I'm very proud and excited to experience this. And he got to do it with one of his greatest mentors at his side. He was my homeroom teacher. That homeroom teacher, James Bucholtz, has been cheering Toreen on since his sophomore year of high school. I couldn't be prouder of Ben. A retired Air Force Airman himself, Mr. B, guided Toreen through the aviation pathway at William Horlick High School in Racine. I did eight years in the Air Force as a crew chief, and uh, which was an aircraft mechanic. And, and when I started this aviation program, it was based on that. So I was just trying to instill what the military taught me to the kids. As a freshman and sophomore in high school, it's hard to like kind of find who you are. Um, he definitely helped narrow, he put the, the bowling borders up and helped me narrow down kind of what path I want to walk. When Torin went off to school at UW-Madison, they stayed in touch. And when it came time to choose a military mentor for the time-honored first salute tradition at his commissioning... There was no, no doubt in my mind that it was always going to be James Buchholz. <laughs> I was shocked. Um, uh, I couldn't be more honored or proud of him. It's a moment they'll remember forever. I just remember looking him in the eye, smiling as we held that salute. Solidifying their mentorship bond for years to come. Reporting in Madison, Braden Ross, News 3 Now. Toreen was designated as a medical service officer in the Medical Service Corps in the Navy. He's still waiting to find out where he'll be stationed. Well, as you could see in some of that video, it was a beautiful day out for commencement and all the other ceremonies. For how long that's going to stick around, we're joined by meteorologist Buddy Reeves. Buddy? Yeah, thanks so much, Jalen. It was a picture-perfect day here across southern Wisconsin. Almost not a cloud in the sky, and temperatures got almost to 70 degrees. And right now, take a look at the sky capital shot right now. We are sitting at 53 degrees, so it has cooled off a little bit. 
So not too bad across most of Dane County right now at 53 in Madison, 51 in Middleton, 56 for our friends in Belleville. Taking a look at the rest of southern Wisconsin, some upper 40s near Waukesha and Watertown and still some 60s out near Viroqua and Decorah. But if you're curious about seeing the northern lights tonight, you do have another opportunity tonight in the Madison area to see this overnight tonight. Peak times are going to be between now and 2 a.m. in the morning. But taking a look at your Mother's Day for tomorrow, look for temperatures to start out at around 53 degrees, getting up to 80 degrees with some evening storms possible. Coming up, we'll track your Mother's Day forecast and your beginning of your work week. All right, buddy, we'll see you then. UW Madison Police Department arrests a 29 year old Madison man after he allegedly threatened a group with a knife Friday afternoon. UW Madison Police say the group of five was on the Lakeshore path near the Memorial Union where the man allegedly waved the knife at the group as he walked past them. Police say the man followed the group and pointed the knife towards them and the group ran and called the police. Officers immediately located the man and he was arrested with no incident. Officers confiscated a box cutter from the man. The man was booked into the Dane County Jail on tentative charges of disorderly conduct with a dangerous weapon and possession of drug paraphernalia. Sticking with UW Madison PD, they also arrested a 38 year old Madison man in connection to a death threat he made to a student on May 7th. UW Madison police say they contacted the 38 year old man Friday at approximately 730 PM. Police say the man was carrying a knife and arrested and booked him into the Dane County Jail on tentative charges of disorderly conduct and carrying a concealed knife. The man is not affiliated with UW Madison. Now Madison police respond to a call of multiple shots being fired and vehicles fleeing near the 200 block of North Thompson Drive Saturday morning. Police located several shell casings. Police say no injured persons or property were damaged at the location. One person is dead and another injured after a motorcycle crash in Beaver Dam. The Dodge County Sheriff's Office is investigating the motorcycle crash, which resulted in the death of a 50 year old Beaver Dam woman and the driver, a 42 year old Beaver Dam man, suffered life threatening injury Saturday morning. Police say the crash occurred on State Highway 33 near Thompson Road. Police say neither occupant was wearing a helmet. The crash remains under investigation. The Biden administration has been working urgently for weeks to stave off a full scale Israeli invasion of Rafah. At the same time, it's walking a diplomatic tightrope after releasing a critical report on Israeli use of American weapons in the conflict. CBS's Natalie Brand is at the White House with the latest. Republicans accuse the report of providing political cover to the president with his supporters. Democrats say it ducks the critical question at hand after the State Department said given Israel's significant reliance on U.S. made defense articles, it's reasonable to assess that weapons may have been used by Israel's military in instances, quote, inconsistent with international law, but says it doesn't have complete information to verify. It sends a muddled message because it's inconclusive. The document comes the same week the president warned Israel that the U.S. will not supply offensive weapons for a large-scale military operation in Rafah. Already, the White House has paused the shipment of 3,500 bombs, including 2,000-pound aerial weapons. The White House is worried about the impact they could have in dense urban settings. If Israel is serious about doing a precise targeted counterterrorism operation that can take out Hamas battalions but not cause undue civilian harm, you really don't need munitions of that size anyway. But the administration's move has intensified divisions on Capitol Hill. I think the president's doing the right thing. This is terrible policy, and it's bad for the United States. Responding to Republican criticism, the White House in a statement to CBS News says the president is still standing with Israel as they fight Hamas, but also making it clear how Israel defends itself matters. The administration says it does not want to see any more civilians killed. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House. A new limiting rule limiting excessive credit card late fees that is set to take effect Tuesday has been put on hold. A federal judge on Friday temporarily blocked the U.S. government's attempt to ban credit card late fees of more than eight more than eight dollars a month. U.S. District Judge Mark T. Pittman signed it with bank lobbyists. They had challenged the legality of the cap in a lawsuit, saying the policy is unconstitutional. The preliminary injunction will allow the lobbyist legal battle to play out in court. More people will soon qualify to apply for Social Security thanks to a new rule that expands the definition 
of a public assistance household starting September 30th. A public assistance household will include those receiving SNAP payments. It will also include households with at least one SSI recipient and at least one other household member who receives public income maintenance. Officials say the expanded definition will not only help more people to qualify, but it will also increase payment amounts for some SSI recipients, as well as reduce reporting burdens for people living on public assistance households. The new update is one of the several that the Social Security is publishing to improve their program. And coming up next on News 3 Now with 10, taking advantage of the beauty outside as a group of bird enthusiasts took to McFarland for the annual bird festival. And how a group of women are biking across the country for an admirable cause. Find out the cause next. Sometimes the do-it-yourself route isn't the best option. Call Monona Plumbing instead and get your plumbing problem fixed right. A name you can trust when service is a must. When you need inspiration, it's worth shopping Pick and Save, where you'll find over 30,000 mouth-watering choices with savings beyond low prices. Savings like digital coupons worth over $600 each week and up to $1 off per gallon at the pump. More savings and more inspiring flavors make Pick and Save worth it every time. It's your thing. Do what you want to do. Pick and Save. Fresh for everyone. Shop family-owned Brothers Maine for our large selection, low-priced deals, and free delivery on top brands like Cafe, Hot Point, and GE Appliances. From sales to install, we do it all. Feel great about your purchases. Feel like family at Brothers Maine. We're in the middle of living large. And having a big day. The meeting point of humanity and history. In the middle of being the fun uncle. <laughs> in the middle of being a kid again. Beep, beep. something for everyone in Illinois. The middle of everything. At Fleet Farm, we're here to help you bring your yard to life this spring. This week, get 10-inch premium hanging baskets on sale for $17.99. Save on bags of Scott's Turf Builder Weed and Feed, now just $59.99 a piece after rebate. Plus, choose from even more top lawn and garden brands from our wide selection, like miracle Grow, Preen, Roundup, Superior, and many more. Green up your yard and find everything you need for your everyday life at Fleet Farm. At Papa Murphy's, we build your pizza with the freshest ingredients. You take it and bake it fresh in your oven. So technically, I make the pizza. Right now, get the limited time Taco Grande pizza. Papa Murphy's, change the way you pizza. Sometimes the do-it-yourself route isn't the best option. <laughs> Call Monona Plumbing instead and get your plumbing problem fixed right. A name you can trust when service is a must. Get help with consumer issues during Call for Action Week. Follow our team as they work to solve difficult cases for local residents and learn useful strategies to protect you and your money. Call for Action Week starts Monday on News 3 Now at 6. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Now, who doesn't love birds? I know me especially, I, I enjoy them quite a bit. And for all you bird lovers out there, today was the day to join fellow bird lovers at the McFarland Bird Festival held at Lewis Park Shelter, where from 9 a.m. to noon, there were all types of activities to honor the winged creature, like guided walks, booths with information, activities, as well as a raffle, where great prizes were won in supporting the birding in McFarland. Then there was Mud Lake, a wonderful spot to just hang out and do a little bird watching. A lot of migration come through. We'll see orioles around the lake edges. If we get into the school forest more, we'll see groups of warblers. We'll see vireos. We'll see grosbeaks, things of that nature. Things that have come from the tropics, Mexico, Costa Rica, and South America. Now, the event was free and open to the public, and if you missed it, don't worry. There'll be another one next year, the second weekend of May. Cousins Britta Swanson and Karina Schindler have been riding their bikes since May 6th. And why, you ask? Well, it's partly to fundraise for the World Bicycle Relief, which is a nonprofit that partners with communities to improve riding bikes 
as another form of transportation. And the other reason, to honor their late grandfather, Richard Schindler, who took a similar trip years ago. Yeah, so we're taking a cycling fundraiser trip um, from Duluth, Minnesota, out to Portland, Maine. And um, we're doing it as a fundraiser for World Bicycle Relief, mm -hmm. which is a super awesome nonprofit who helps give, um, give out bikes to people in rural regions or globally. Their goal is to fundraise $30,000 by May 29th, which is the WBR, and how they will use that to, to repair and supply 180 bikes, with over 70% of the bikes donated going to women and girls to improve access to education, health care, and economic opportunities. Now to the huge solar storm hitting the Earth's atmosphere. It's millions of miles away, but the eruptions on the sun are bringing the northern lights to regions that rarely see them all over the world. But if you miss the magical phenomena, well, you might get lucky tonight. CBS's Michael George is in New York and has his eyes on the sky. Oh my God, it was not expecting Breathtaking otherworldly images from Canada, Ukraine, Switzerland and England. And across much of the U.S., people witness streaks of pink and purple and green as far south as Florida. Wow. Sean Dahl, senior space weather forecaster for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, explains what we're seeing in the skies. The aurora is when we get energized particles that have left the sun in more quantities than usual, and they interact with Earth's magnetic Barrier. Astrophysicist Noor Rawafi says this is the biggest geomagnetic storm in more than 20 years. This one is pretty large. I think it's it's pretty extreme. It's so large it can temporarily disrupt satellites we rely on for communication and navigation, like GPS. Elon Musk's Starlink satellites are reporting degraded service. Most of us have GPS on our phones. Is that something that could potentially be disrupted? Yes, it could, because most of our phones are single-frequency GPS systems. Aurora Borealis can even impact our power grid and cause blackouts, but utility companies took precautions. It seems this time around certain steps were taken. Now, if you missed seeing Aurora, you do have another chance tonight. Of course, it's weather-dependent, but experts say your best shot is between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. Michael George, CBS News, West New York, New Jersey. Now, I know Michael said that you can see the lights right now, but stick around before you head outside. Buddy Reese joins us now with the first one forecast. Buddy. Yeah, Jalen, a beautiful day here across southern Wisconsin. You couldn't have asked for better weather for any of the events that were going on across southern Wisconsin. And tonight, for the northern lights, you definitely will have another opportunity to see them tonight as we have mostly clear skies overnight tonight. So another perfect opportunity to get out there, take some uh, pictures of the northern lights tonight, because tonight's going to be a pretty decent night for that. We will have a warm and marvelous Mother's Day with temperatures actually 10 to 11 degrees warmer than we were this time today. And with that warmer weather, we do have a chance of seeing some isolated to scattered thunderstorms on your Sunday evening. Again, this is going to be later in the afternoon towards the evening hour. So most of your Mother's Day is going to be pretty good. Now, the story before was talking about the Northern Lights. We want to thanks, thanks Ali from Madison for sending this shot of the Northern Lights. Um, this was, I believe, facing towards the lakes. And then also in Black Earth, thanks Kurt Henny Hearing. I can't get these names right today as well for submitting this uh, photo of the Northern Lights. And again, you should be able to submit those to channel3000.com forward slash weather for any of those Northern Light pictures that you do want to show. Now, one thing that we do need is clear skies to see those Northern Lights, and we do have that right now across the Madison area. So again, visible uh, for the Northern Lights overnight tonight, especially from 10 p.m. till 2 a.m. in the morning. Away from the city lights is going to be your best bet to see those Northern Lights, but I live in the city, so I was able to see some last night, so you should still be able to see them if you step outside between 10 p.m and 2 a.m. But let's look at your Mother's Day for tomorrow, starting out at 7.30 in the morning. Maybe some cloud cover in the morning, starting out at 53 degrees. As we head on into your Sunday afternoon, we're still pretty good with temperatures climbing into the upper 70s, into the low 80s. We do see some scattered, isolated thunderstorms later in the afternoon. This is around 5 o'clock, but then I stop at around 10 o'clock at night where we might have some more numerous scattered showers and thunderstorms, but for most of your Mother's Day looks pretty good. And then as we head on into your Monday morning, as you're beginning your work, work week or going back to school or maybe traveling home from seeing mom on Sunday, look for temperatures start out at 57 degrees. So overall, 
not bad. And here at Channel 3, we want to wish all the mothers out there a happy Mother's Day. And I want to wish my mom in North Carolina a happy Mother's Day. Uh, I know she is watching on YouTube. Temperatures here are going to be 80 degrees with the evening storm chance. So we are looking pretty good. Seven day forecast. Chance of storms on your Monday as well with temperatures falling to around 77 degrees. Then after that, we cool off just ever so slightly into the upper 60s. Back into the 70s Thursday and Friday, we are watching the chance of some stronger storms on your Thursday into Friday, but temperatures are actually going to be in the 70s. And again, if you want to submit those weather photos, feel free to do that at channel3000.com forward slash weather. So I thought it was April showers bring May flowers. Well, what's up with all these storms that we've been seeing the last couple weeks? It's it's springtime. It's usually our time when we get those showers and thunderstorms. I guess, I guess. I just want to stretch a weather where I can just go outside. It's not too hot, it's yeah. not too cold, and just enjoy it. But have, you said you saw the northern lights. Last night? Yeah. I've yet to. I'm 25 now. I lived in the Midwest my entire life, and I've never seen them. So hopefully tonight I can snag a picture. Their first time was 2005. When I moved here in 2003, I saw them two years later. Okay. All right. Well, sounds good. Yep. Cross my fingers to see them. Thank <laughs> you, buddy. And coming up next in sports, the Brewers is looking to set a new franchise record. Andrew tells you everything you need to know next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Blackberry Smoke. Live in concert. Be right here to it. Saturday, July 6th at Ho Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Bells. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster. Don't miss Blackberry Smoke Live. Most window companies only talk about their promotional offers. Next Door and Window prefers to talk about their products. All Trex fiberglass windows are eight times stronger than vinyl and won't warp in extreme weather. Fiberglass frames are thin and strong, so you get bigger, more beautiful views. The sun won't fade the finish of All Trex. So your home will look beautiful for years to come. Why buy vinyl when you can install fiberglass windows from Nextdoor and Window? Buy one window, get one 40% off. Visit nextwindow.com. Want to instantly look more attractive and years younger? The solution is whiter teeth, but you love coffee and tea, maybe even wine or smoking, and all of them stain your teeth and make them yellow. It's time you discovered Power Swabs, the fast five minute revolutionary treatment. The first time I tried it, I was so surprised. My husband was so excited that he wanted to run out and get it. He said, what have you been trying? I said, well, I've tried this product called Power Swab. And he said, I can't believe how white your teeth are. From that point on, I've been sold. Power Swabs are guaranteed to whiten your teeth up to two shades after the first application. After five minute daily treatments for the next week, your teeth will be an average of six shades whiter. Power Swabs will whiten natural teeth and remove stains from veneers, bonding, caps, and crowns. This is a Power Swab smile. This is a power swap smile. Call, go online, or scan the code on your screen right now to receive 50% off this Mother's Day. You'll also receive the Power Swabs Stain Out Quick Stick absolutely free. And in addition, you will get free shipping. Owning my own home is nice. You can just come home knowing that it's yours. It's a sense of pride, sense of ownership, and enjoying it with everyone I love and care for. Make a lasting impact on local families in need. Please donate today. My son, Nick, took illicit fentanyl, which cost him his life. And knowing that my son is never coming back is the worst thing that I will have to live with for the rest of my life. Tammy Baldwin's been with us every step of the way. She just got a major bill passed to really crack down on fentanyl. She doesn't just talk the talk, but she actually walks the walk. I cannot tell you how much we appreciate Tammy Baldwin fighting this fight. I'm Tammy Baldwin. I approve this message. Nobody kicks off festival season like Stoughton because nobody runs a festival like Stoughton or crafts a festival like Stoughton. The fact is, nobody eats up a festival like Stoughton. The Sit and My Festival in Stoughton starts May 17th.
Whitewater baseball has already locked up the WEAC regular season title, but what they really want is still right in front of them. A WEAC tournament championship and the trip to the NCAA tournament that comes along with it. And these Warhawks, they weren't messing around. They put up seven runs on lacrosse in the first inning and added two more in the third for good measure. That gave Jack Hagen a 9-1 to lead to work with, and the freshman carried the load from there. He struck out eight in an 105-pitch complete game masterpiece. But at a point, Hagen said, can I get at least a little bit more run support? Bottom eighth, and Matt Skolan says, I got you. A wall scraper gives Whitewater an 11-3 lead, which meant there was only one thing left to do. Put the stamp on the deal. It's the eighth WEAC tournament title in program history for Whitewater. They celebrate, and rightfully so, with their newfound trophy and will await their opponent in the NCAA tournament. And on the softball diamond, it was more of the same for Whitewater, except the Warhawk women went into Oshkosh and beat the Titans to win their own WEAC tourney title. The Warhawks are white hot heading into the NCAA tournament, riding a nine game win streak. Brewers looking to stay perfect against the Cardinals on the season. Bottom seven, down one with two on and two out. And Reese Hoskins flips this game on its head. Does it with one swing of the bat. His team leading ninth homer of the year puts the crew ahead five to three. That's a score that would hold throughout. What an off-season signing Hoskins has been. He was the difference maker tonight. Brewers win their eighth straight over the Redbirds for the first time in franchise history. Hosting the Packers charity softball game is a rite of passage. The only people that have ever done it are Brett Favre, Donald Driver, and Jordy Nelson. But at last night's game, Donald Driver decided that it's time to pass that torch to Jordan Love. Driver, whose blood runs as green and gold as the Chicago River on St. Patrick's Day, says that Jordan Love is the future of the franchise. And as the quarterback launches his own charity, he thought it only made sense to put Love in the driver's seat. I have this opportunity to pass it to what I feel is the future quarterback of the Green Bay Packers, Jordan Love. Uh, and so now it's time for the legend that I think and I, and I know that he will become. Uh, it's the passion towards to him. Trying to give back, trying to do more, obviously. Um, you know, I'm blessed to be able to play in the National Football League, blessed to be able to play football at the highest level, and it's, it's an honor. Well, from one legend and driver to another, Steve Stricker looking for the three-peat at the region's tradition tournament. He enters the third day as the leader. That comes after shooting a combined 12 under on Thursday and Friday. Beautiful approach shot here on 16. Strick still looking for his first birdie of the day. He'll try it here on the putt, but it finishes just wide. He gets the par on 16, but finishes the day at one over. He'll enter the final day within two strokes of the lead. Can't say enough good things about Whitewater. Obviously, we know what they do on the football field, but oh, yeah. don't sleep on them on the baseball or softball field. A couple of programs that continue to be incredibly successful and just a lot of fun to have right in our backyard. Yeah, I mean, it's fair to say that WWU was one of the premier athletic programs in all of Division Three athletics. So I think so. Good to see that they keep things rolling year round. Makes your job a lot more exciting. But Absolutely. How about getting a stamp of approval from Donald Driver? Oh my people? goodness! Yeah, I, I think that in a lot of ways, Donald Driver's maybe trying to say to Brian Gutekunst, "Hey, let's give this guy a contract like yesterday, right?" I mean. If I'm Brian Gutekunst, I would have done the exact same thing. I think Donald Driver and I maybe have more in common than we once thought. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's going to keep things rolling. Yeah, for sure. I think so. Thank you, Andrew. We'll be back with more after this. Have your best summer ever with Bachman's Mother's Day Pool Sale. Save 25% off all in-stock above-ground radiant pools. Visit our showrooms in Madison and Brookfield and save. Go ahead. Relax. It's Bachman's. <laughs> Our record energy costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes. With inflation rising at record levels and incomes not keeping pace, you might be one of tens of thousands of Wisconsin residents who are struggling to survive in the blistering heat of summer or the bitter cold of winter. While you haven't asked for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to face the challenge of living without heat or power or face homelessness. For a hand up, apply today and call 1-800-506-5596. That's 800-506-5596. 
506-506-5596 or visit www.kwwf.org. Get up to 60% off list prices on hundreds of items at the huge memorial sale at Slumberland Furniture. Incredible deals like this brand new chase with storage that's also a sleeper, just $4.49. This complete wicker set with table, just $8.99. Or get a free ottoman with this sectional. Maybe you're looking for a comfy sofa? That's just $3.99. Up to 60% off list. At the huge memorial sale at Slumberland Furniture. Do not miss this one. We really need new siding. After I get my windows. Have you tried opening ours? We're not touching the windows until we redo the roof. It's leaking. We are not redoing the roof without getting new gutters. The gutters can wait till I get my bathtub. We agreed on a shower for mom. But I thought... Uh, happy spouse, happy house. Exactly. Wait. For home improvement guaranteed to make everyone happy, everyone can agree on 1-800-HANSEN's. Because our durable, energy-efficient, and weather-resistant windows, roofing, siding, and gutters are all guaranteed for life. And our baths have a no-leak guarantee. With thousands of five-star reviews, we're your trusted home improvement expert, exceeding expectations for 35 years. Get 50% off professional installation, or no interest and no payments for two full years. Offer ends soon. It's under. Over. Hey, happy spouse, happy house. Call 1-800-HANSONS, get it done. Have your best summer ever with Bachman's Mother's Day Pool Sale. Save 25% off all in-stock above-ground radiant pools. Visit our showrooms in Madison and Brookfield and save. Go ahead, relax, it's Bachman's. <laughs> Kyle Pazorski, News 3 Now, weekend mornings, moving forward. So we were talking a little bit off camera about the Northern Lights. I've yet to see them, like, ever. But you two have, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen them just, like, a little bit. Like, last night I looked up around maybe 1 in the morning, and mm -hmm. I could see them, but it wasn't like the pictures we saw online or were sent to us. And yeah. you were actually able to see them pretty decent. Yeah, happened. last night and in 2005 when we had the last big event like this, I was able to see, and it's a right, once-in-a-lifetime so opportunity. So how long will they be able to see them at night? Till 2 a.m. probably, maybe a little bit after that, okay. but 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. is the proper time, so... I'll see you at 1.30 then. All right, I'll see you then. We'll meet up. <laughs> well, thank you all for joining. Go to see you back here tomorrow. Happy Mother's Day. And as always, thank you for making it a great evening.